Bow down to the bow down to the game. <sighs> what are the waters over there? If you want to do a real, a real Triple H impersonation, but yes, guys, we're back with a separate fed on the matter. If you want to check out the raw review to hear the raw thoughts on it, raw thoughts uh, about the new title that Triple H brought out. You can go do that. But here we're going to look at a more like in-depth look, so to speak, um, about it, and also. Going to make a video later. CM Punk returns to the WWE. What? Anyway, Triple H makes WWE title announcement during the 24th of April 2023. And yeah, it says here, Triple H announced that Roman Reigns will remain world champion of whatever brand he is drafted to. The other brand will debut a new world championship and Triple H revealed the design. With it's similar, it's, it, it is similar to the big gold belt. But again, right, so you've got the big gold belt. And, I mean, obviously, they're not showing you it here, but you, you, <laughs> hold on, huh? hold on, guys, no need to fear, but a new world championship, we'll look at it here, so you guys have a look what we're on about, images, bang, look at it, look at it, look at it, it's, I mean, I've seen worse belts, but I don't know, I think the logo in the middle just cheapens it massively. Now I know, literally with the logo, it's like the old belt, but I actually think it wouldn't have looked that bad. Because you've got the WWE logos, like, you know, on the right side, and the left side. But again, like, what is the fascination of sticking three fucking WWE logos on it? We know what it is, it's WWE, man. Right? And but, ugh, just the, the, the old gold belt looked great. I don't understand the, the, the obsession with plastering the logos, I don't. Like, is, it, is that better than this? I kind of like the look of the, those belts, so... I'm being honest, I, I do. I do like the look of that belt. I feel like with this belt, it would have looked really good without that logo. The logo's just not needed. You've got all these different belts, of course. Um, that's in 2014. I mean, is it better than the Strawberry Jam Universal title that Finn Balor got? Of course it is. Um, but, again, it's, it's not exactly spectacular, if we're being honest. But, trip. Triple H did go on to reveal it and basically his justifications behind it was well Roman Reigns you know he's got both belts he's approaching a thousand days a thousand days Jack we're safe and it pretty much says well Roman Reigns he's negotiated himself into a way where he doesn't defend that title very often he's part time so we need to create a title for the rest of everybody who's full time and again I talked about it in the raw review but I'll just repeat it again like Roman Reigns, WWE has made Roman Reigns part-time. Roman Reigns has not made himself part-time, all right? Like, let's not pretend that Roman Reigns is too big of a star to be full-time. No, it's not. that's not the way it works. See, back in the day, man, Austin, full-time. You got him every week. The Rock was full-time before he went to Hollywood. When it seen, seen the end of 2002, he started becoming part-timer, 2003, etc., etc. And then after that course, we know what happened. You make your, you, WWE make you part-time, all right? WWE make you part-time. They are the, the gold sticks, the, the, the stick holders, right? WWE becoming so shit has made Roman Reigns part-time. Like, Triple H trying to put Roman Reigns over here so much. He's no one near the guy. I don't give a fuck how many days he holds. See, I don't care if Roman Reigns holds this till the day he dies. I don't know how many days that would put it on. Like, 10,000, maybe, right? We've had like 30 years. It's just nowhere near, right? It is just nowhere near a good run. He does not defend it anywhere near enough to warrant calling him like one of the greatest champions of all time. Length doesn't matter. You know, obviously, if you hold it a day compared to a year, the year run's going to look better. I get that. But come on. Honestly. Like, the rain is just constantly him burying people and getting help for the bloodline. I mean, at least at Mania, what was it, 38? Or was it 30, no, 37? Like, when he pinned Brian and Edge, that was a good image. I liked that. I actually liked the fact he beat both of them, made him look like the fucking man. But in, like, every match since then, he's needed help, and it's embarrassing. It honestly is, and he's nowhere near the greatest champion of all time. They've had to create this belt, and it feels like a mid-card belt. It does. It looks like a mid-card belt, because the fact they just slapped that logo on it, and who's going to feud for it? Mid-carders? I mean, I'll admit, there's positives to it. It's needed. It means whatever brand he ain't drafted to is going to have a world champion that's probably going to be there every week. And therefore, in my opinion, that is going to become the A brand. 
because I just don't see how a brand... Like, how can a brand, right? Because obviously he holds both belts, but he is more of a SmackDown guy, for being honest, than a Raw guy. But he does appear on both these days. Well, I say he doesn't really appear on either. But again, the brand that has the full-time world champion will look good. But again, with, with Cody Rhodes, the whole feud is with him going after Roman Reigns. Now, why would he go after Roman Reigns if there's another belt? But then again, if he wins the, this belt in Saudi on the 27th of March or May, it's going to look cheap. It's like, well, why didn't you just pull the trigger with him against Reigns? It's going to look like he took the back door out and it's not, no one near going to feel as big. I really hope Cody Rhodes doesn't win the belt because it will feel shite. It will. And, uh, aye. Who can I see getting the belt? Pfft. Honestly. Co I, I, Reigns ain't going to win. I mean, I say Reigns ain't going to win it. It wouldn't fucking surprise me if Reigns won the belt. Um, Cody Rhodes ain't going to win it. I could see Brock win it. They give it, like, you know, the, the big factor, like, who the fuck was the first guy to win it. The, the New World Heavyweight Championship. They could give it to Brock, I guess. But I look at the roster, I'd give it the LA night. LA night every day of the week for me, guys. But anyway, that is it for this video. Back with some more soon. And until next time, peace. Oh, hell yeah.